So today I want to talk about this still life painting. Uh, this painting is from February 2024, so not long ago. And uh, I'm going to go back and forth between what's happening on the screen and uh, the context in which uh, this painting took place. So here I start by uh, placing a center line to make sure uh, everything I will draw uh, stays aligned the way I want. And I start to draw in simple shapes. Uh, it's very important that I simplify the subject I see in front of me uh, with uh, simple shapes. So that way uh, it's easier to place the subject uh, that way on my surface. And, and if I see that anything, any element of my subject is not correctly placed on my surface, I can easily change that. Uh, I can easily change and see a simple shape. I don't waste time. Um, once the simple shape are accurate, proportionally accurate to my subject, then I can refine them and start to uh, draw in uh, the details of my subject. Um, so here at this stage, I uh, start to refine the pot and then now I, start to, I will start to refine the, the cactus, uh, the plant itself. Uh, but as you can see, uh, I chose a subject that is fairly simple. Uh, at this time in February 2024, uh, I felt very, uh, I felt almost, almost lost uh, with my paintings. Uh, it was a few months that uh, I, uh, I, I focused on plein air painting, painting outside, and uh, I have to admit it was very, very hard. Uh, I started oil painting in May 2021. And uh, after two years, I started to feel very uh, happy and very good uh, with my paintings in the studio. And uh, at this moment, I chose uh, to go plein air painting. It was a good decision, I think, with a step back. But I also see that uh, it was very, very hard. Uh, some, some period of time were very, very hard for the, the mindset and the mood uh, because I didn't get uh, results with my plein air painting that were satisfying. I was not happy with these paintings. So I feel when uh, I was not happy with my paintings, it was very hard to keep painting. And uh, that's the subject of this video. It's uh, learning to accept and learning to not be ashamed. Uh, this is very important and to not be ashamed of the ugly paintings or let's say of, of the paintings that uh, doesn't give us uh, satisfaction or that we are not happy with. Uh, it's very important to accept them. Uh, I know for me it's so hard, even nowadays, even now, it's very still hard to accept them, but uh, at least uh, I persuade myself that it's okay and uh, that I need uh, basically these ugly paintings to maybe one day produce a painting that I'm happy with and um, uh, yeah, a, a painting that gives me satisfaction basically when I finish it. So at this moment, uh, as I felt uh, a little lost and not very happy, uh, I went, uh, this is February 2024, and in January 2024, we got some snow, and this was very inspiring. So I went outside to paint some snow, and this was a pleasant experience. The result was not uh, good enough for me, in my uh, opinion, but uh, the experience uh, itself was very satisfying and very pleasant. So when I went back to the studio, a few days after that experience, I decided to to go back to something more uh, relaxed for me and just uh, tackle uh, a studio, uh, yeah, a studio painting, a still life painting. And uh, it felt good to go back to uh, still life painting. Uh, I knew um, I will go back and forth between still life painting and plein air painting, but uh, at the end of 2023, let's say from June, to October 2023, I felt the need to really go uh, plein air painting to try to accumulate some knowledge about uh, plein air painting. And it was very hard at this moment to me to go uh, back and forth between still life painting and plein air painting. So I just focused on plein air painting. And that's when I think I got a little overwhelmed because my results was, were not satisfying uh, in my opinion. So in October, like in November and December 2023, I didn't paint at all. Uh, it's only in January 2024 that I, I came back to painting. So this is a break of two months. Uh, I will say uh, breaks are very important and it's important to not feel guilty uh, when we don't paint. I think um, when we uh, accumulate uh, 
the knowledge that is uh, um, uh, that is um, needed to uh, create paintings uh, it's a lot to learn it's a lot to take so it's very important sometimes to step back to digest what we learn what i learn and uh, to uh, then go back to painting uh, with uh, fresh eyes and uh, of course i i didn't want the break to to take too long or to last too long but um, uh, yeah two months was the maximum i then uh, i really wanted to go back to painting and uh, i started with this uh, plein air painting the snow and then i came back in the studio and i chose this uh, cactus to uh, to start no it's not true because just before the cactus i i painted a bowl and then i painted the cactus so i started really with something something simple uh, the bowl painting was to me really like a way to go back to painting with a, a very very simple subject but um, these simple subjects are so satisfying when uh, when the outcome, when the result of that painting works. It doesn't matter the subject. Uh, the fact that uh, you apply, the fact that I apply what I learn and that I see that it works. Uh, when I look at the painting, it works. The light is there, the shadow is there, the, the three-dimensional effect works. Uh, in a satisfying way for me, uh, what I'm looking for, what I'm after when I paint. Uh, even though it's a simple bowl, there we go, I got the satisfaction, I'm super happy and I know it's not the best painting, it's, this doesn't matter, I'm just like, uh, it, it gives me the energy back uh, to, to, to tackle more paintings. And so then I choose uh, a fairly uh, simple subject again, but slightly more difficult than the bowl. And um, then I decide to produce a painting that I, I, I really want because I really like this cactus, so I want to capture it. And I take my time and I, I think I spend uh, one or I think two days on that painting. And I'm, I'm very happy about the result. Um, as you can see, I, I, all of my uh, brush stroke are very uh, intentional. Uh, I place, uh, I mix first uh, my color on my palette uh, with my palette knife or my brush and then I apply uh, this, uh, this color, this, uh, uh, this value uh, on my surface and uh, I, I really, it's really important for me to stay uh, disciplined uh, the, the whole time and uh, to ensure that uh, my shadows doesn't mix with my light and, and, uh, and to just apply uh, what I learn. I don't I don't blend, there's some natural uh, blending occurring, but I don't blend. And uh, if suddenly uh, when I finish applying uh, my brush strokes, I see that uh, an area needs uh, some more blending than just this natural uh, blending occurring, well then I will go over with a softer brush and I will just slightly blend this area, but I, I really uh, barely blend anything in my paintings. Uh, if I apply the right value and uh, 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 at least approximate uh, hue uh, the painting works uh, by itself so uh, yeah just coming back in the context uh, it's very important for me uh, to, to remind myself that uh, ugly painting are okay and it's a, a step uh, it's a step forward to maybe produce after a better painting a painting that will be uh, satisfied with when I started uh, painting from life in my studio my first result uh, with my uh, still life painting uh, were not good and now as you can see uh, they are way better uh, this is a painting I'm still uh, happy with uh, today uh, so it takes time to uh, to make some progress but the progress uh, comes and it's very important to not give up and to just keep painting <laughs>